Hi everyone, Natalie here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've been here before, if not, welcome to the channel. Today's gonna be a really fun video because we are going to do a nursing school haul. Now, I have some notes in front of me about some of the things that I got, and I'm hoping that I have everything nearby. Yes. So that I can show it all to you. So, let me get my bucket ready. So, I've been so excited to do this since I got accepted into nursing school. And I'm going to go over some things and some, some really <sighs> things that you need to be prepared for when you are looking at nursing school supplies. Um, and this actually will go for any college supplies list. I think we all get that bug when we first um, sign up for classes or are ready to start school and it doesn't hit us for a while that dang that's expensive. So first things first all told, there are some things in this list that I don't have with me right now. Um, and it was not inexpensive. So you need to think about that when you are planning on going to school or going back to school. I am in my 30s. I am going back to school. I did find a few things rather cheaply. Um, and this doesn't include the cost of certain things that I already had or that I had bought previously with knowing that I was going to go to nursing school but for other semesters so that one I'll just put out there right there a couple or last year um, I was going back to school and getting a few things done um, so that I didn't have to take them again here and I bought a laptop because mine was getting up there and wasn't quite keeping up with the speed that it needed to for my classes. Um, I also have a Mac desktop which <clears throat> I use primarily. I use my laptop when I'm um, away from home. Let's get started. Lily, you're on my list. I did buy the laptop um, about a year ago. I paid around $1,200 for it. It is a MacBook Air, the 13 inch screen um, in rose gold, cause I'm fancy like that. Um, also, I think I thought it was really pretty and I really wanted it. So um, I use that a lot. I've used that a ton for classes that I was taking. Um, also things I had in advance. My birthday is in November and for my birthday my mom got me this. Says, I can't, I'm in nursing school. Um, because she was trying to make a point that I am officially saying goodbye to my social life. Which I didn't have to begin with, mom. So, okay. <laughs> Anywho, this is going to be a shorter list of things that I got today because it is pretty much scattered throughout my entire house. So, I really, I'll get my stuff together. It's fine. So, starting with, oh, I forgot my study guide over there. Um, I already had an iPad. I've had this iPad since 2018. Look, it's so pretty as, as I throw it on my desk. I got this one. That's Disney World, by the way. Nope, that's Disneyland. I don't know the difference sometimes. This is 2018. Um, I bought it in 2018. This is a 2017-2018 style iPad Pro, where it still has the little button down here in the corner with thumbprint and all of that. Um, I use this a lot actually. I use this all of the time. And then it I so I bought a case for it, a brand new case for it. 
um, that had a spot for my pencil. I have the first generation pencil. I also bought a grippy pencil cover and I had to buy a new topper for it. So if I take this off, this little piece here is no longer, I didn't, I don't have a white one because Fenry's, the, our void cat, um, was rubbing on it and decided to take a bite out of it and just snapped the top right in half. So I had to buy a new one. So I bought this silicone case for it while I was at it and it actually is really, really nice to write with. Um, and I use this all the time for good notes. I write notes constantly. So I use good notes a lot for it and I did pay for that, but I paid for that a while back. So nothing new on there. Um, one thing I do have that is new that has to do with my studies is I bought an osmosis.org, I believe, .org, um, subscription. So I do have osmosis and I use things like that and Quizlet and whatever on my iPad. Right now I take tons of notes. I took psychology and all of that last semester, so... I used it a lot. Um, another thing I got for my laptop is one of these, a stand to put it up. And with the stand, where did I put it? So I can have it up when I'm away from home, I bought a little keyboard. This needs new batteries and I don't know how to get the Bluetooth to work, but I'm sure I will figure it out. This thing is awesome. It's like a typewriter style with all the different colors. So I'm totally, totally stoked to use it. I also bought a keyboard for a new keyboard and mouse for my Mac. Hook 2. I use this one a lot because it has the number pad. And this is also kind of like typewriter style. Um, and I really, really like it. I like the round keys. I find it really easy to type on and I use the number keys a lot. Press and bends. I keep it in the drawer so my desk is empty. And then I bought an ergonomic mouse. It fits your hand like this. So instead of using the mouse like this, you use it like this, which is more ergonomically correct. And if I can find out, let's see, let's look at my Amazon history. And I bought all, like a lot of this stuff on Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon, let's be honest. So this is Jellycomb and these are $26. Um, I really love it. Um, I don't, I feel like it's a lot easier to use and it's a lot more comfortable. For Christmas, I got this. It's a little dusty, it's fine. Oh. Okay, so these fold down and this folds up. And you can put your laptop there while you're sitting. You can put your notes there. But mostly, you set it up in the position that you're going to use it. And then, um, I feel like I'm having a moment. And then you hook your book onto it. So onto the pages. I swear it's not as difficult as I'm making it look. <laughs> oh my god. I got it so I could read my books in bed. Let's let's be completely transparent as to what's going on here. Um that was the only intention I had is so that I could set up my books 
and read them in bed. I can set it up table style and put my iPad on it to use it. I could put my laptop on it if I needed to. Um, I could set up a book and read the book. Not that I plan on spending any sort of time studying in bed, but that is kind of a really good tool to have. The next thing I got was a clipboard. I did not get a folding clipboard. I got one that opens up um, so I can put my paperwork in there and use it during lab or whatever. I don't like the folding ones. I'd rather just set this down have my name on it and it has an awesome calculator at the top I do have to take a math class at the beginning so I got myself a Casio graphing calculator now let me tell you something calculators are expensive especially the TI 83s and the TI 84s if you do not absolutely have to have one of those because it has some sort of function and another graphing calculator doesn't I would say go with something a little bit cheaper now I priced a TI-84 um, just a regular black one the cheapest one I could find new was like a hundred bucks up to a hundred and fifty dollars I got this one for thirty eight dollars bargain so I don't think that it'll be any different than um, any other one I will have to let you know on that one once I start playing with it and using it to see but uh, I just think it's so ridiculous how expensive a calculator is like there are phones that are cheaper than that and the fact that our phones like I don't have like a graphing calculator on there well I guess you kind of do but we can't use that it's something we already have is mind-blowing to me so $38 I only paid 11 for the the clipboard I paid 25 for the mouse and I paid about 15 16 dollars for the keyboard so this was about $25 or so I would have to let me double check that I can tell you right now I paid $30.99 <laughs> okay actually I paid $33.99 because it's on sale now um, it came in three pieces, so this piece comes off if you ever need to, like, consolidate. I'm going to hang that back on the edge of the thing. Okay. And now, on to an amazing dollar store find. These are dollars. So, what these are is note organizers. So, I don't know if I can get it close enough to you. You have your cue, your notes, and your summary. So your topic, your notes, and your summary of your notes. I bought 11, um, I have like 12 of them. And I'm super stoked on them. I am just so excited I found them. And then for notebooks, these are just, these are about $388, I want to say they were $388, the Exceed Notebooks. I don't typically buy, this is a three subject, I don't typically buy um, the main brand of them, or the Mead, or um, the, what is it, All Star, whatever, the other one, um, because I don't like the paper. The paper on this is super heavy duty and I like a thicker, heavier duty paper. Um, so I use those frequently. So I bought one, two, three, four. I have four three subjects and one five subject and I'll probably go back and get more 
Um, but I think I paid about $3.88 for each of these. And now I got staple remover. I have a stapler in my bag or in my drawers. I also have a three hole punch. Those were pretty cheap at Walmart. I got them for last semester. And I'm adding those into this because I've had them before. Another dollar store find, large note cards. I got a couple of those, uh, of course, dollar, dollar store. And pencil sharpener and erasers because I also bought a pack of number two pencils for any test taking that might actually take place on paper. Don't know for a fact, but it's always good to have a pencil. Um, I can also take a pencil and use it when I might not want to keep the information or I might want to go over and change things. So, always good to have some pencils. So, sharpener, extra erasers, whole pack of number twos. So, can't say I'm not prepared like a good kid. I got index tabs from the dollar store for any study guides I have. Sticky notes to go in my notes in orange and yellow and I have green and blue and bright orange and pink as well and a ton of these. Ton of those. It's good to have these. I love them. I use them a lot. Love them. Oof. Another pack of erasers. Just in case. A little notebook. Um, this I bought at the dollar store as well. Same with the erasers, the pencils, and the sticky notes. I bought this as a to-do list that can go in my backpack at all times. Um, what assignments are coming up, what things I need to look at, what sources might have been com um, mentioned, just information like that that has to do with larger assignments. And then I got just a little file system. So an accordion style file system. So that I can put assignment, paperwork, syllabus, whatever I need to in here and have quick access to it. And then for now, finally, last but definitely not least and not the very very last I have I went back and forth on this case for weeks do I want it do I just put my stethoscope in my bag like I've always done why should I get it is this the best one to get should I get another one I went back and forth and I finally decided on this one, number one, because it was within my budget, it was $16, two, black, three, cute, and four, I got a cover or a case. This one's really nice. I have extra pieces in there because it has the middle piece that has the little spots for pens, pen lights, scissors, whatever you might use in there. And then it has a little another little pocket on this side. But I got it because I finally finally bought myself a nice stethoscope. So, I bought myself a Littman Cardiology 4. I have wanted one for literal years. And it also has a little ghost on it because I like Halloween all the time. But I got it in this beautiful plum color. It's Cardiology, Cardiology 4 and it's got the rainbow bell. 
and then the black with this. I paid $189 for this. Um, I think considering it is a Cardiology 4, I got it for a bargain. And then I paid $11 for the little gem that goes on it, but whatever. So, since I finally bought myself a stethoscope that I always, always wanted, but have never gotten because I've always just used what was available to me, I figured getting a case for it was important. So that's what I did. Now, that one. Oh, and that's not last. I have piles and piles and piles of highlighters, fine tip pens, um, Pilot G2s in the one millimeter, or the one, yeah, millimeter, are my favorite. Um, I don't like the .7s unless I'm using a fine tip. These are the Pilot Precise V5s. They are the smoothest writing fine tip that doesn't scratch the paper. Ugh. So, I have highlighters, I have pens, I have everything I could ever, ever, ever want. Um, yeah. So, that's the majority of what I got. That's what I'm going to go through today. Um... As I get more, like, I'll show them little bits at a time. But, yeah. It was expensive. I did get a bunch of stuff at the dollar store. If I go through my Amazon list, I mean, I have things. I have laminator, lamination paper for notes and things like that. Because I like certain things laminated that I can write notes on. Markers, whiteboards, desk chairs, holy cow, I have pencil supplies, chargers, cases, um, let's see, when you're, when you're planning on going to school and you're going through everything, it's easy to get excited and start being like, I need this and this and this and this and this. Really pay attention. Anyway, there's a ton of stuff that I got that just wasn't even in my haul today. Take your time. Be very careful with how you're spending your money. And really decide, like, do you need the expensive version? Can you use the cheap version? Will the cheap version last? Because you don't want something that's not going to last. And have fun with getting school supplies. So, that's nursing school in a nutshell. Um, supplies anyway. I can't wait to start using all of this stuff. It's... <clears throat> Goodbye. Take advantage of Walmart's cheap little things too. Take advantage of the dollar store. Take advantage of the dollar spot at Target. Um, and get your supplies and stock up over time. If you're planning on going to nursing school, typically you know it in advance. But if you've got three months until school starts, every payday, Go to the dollar store and see what they've got there. Um, or go to Walmart and get something to pick up a couple of things. Just like $10. If you've got, if you're going in the next year, in 2022, start now. Don't wait until a month before school starts to get all of your school supplies. Make a list now. Watch all of the videos on YouTube because there is a lot out there and there are things people are getting and make a list of things you need and you'll be good to go and you'll be happy you did it so battery's about to die so Natalie is signing off have a wonderful day and I will see you next time